Welcome back, everybody. So this is an important article here. You're watching Wicked News. I discovered this sometime last week, and um, I'm finally finding, uh, I want to say, the motivation to actually cover it. So LA Times was reporting this sometime last week. Uh, the tobacco industry submits signatures on California referendum to block ban on flavored product sales. So this is pretty huge. Everyone knows that uh, the vape industry is on the brink of destruction from all of these, uh, all of these rules, all of this uh, regulation that we're seeing. And um, the flavors have been on the chopping board for about a year. The first time we heard about this and at least uh, some regulation that had come through was uh, in February of 2020. So now uh, I believe we may have gotten enough signatures. If you don't remember, I made a video about a month ago talking about it that we needed enough signatures to uh, push back against California to put it on the ballot so we can vote on it. Mm -hmm. We were never given a vote. So we were never given the opportunity to fight back in any way. Let me get some of these ads out of the way. So let's see. The tobacco industry wants to overturn a law banning the retail sale of flavored tobacco products in California. A coalition representing the tobacco industry said Tuesday it has turned in more than 1 million signatures as it seeks to qualify a referendum for the November 20. 22 ballot aimed at overturning a law banning the retail sale of flavored tobacco products in California. Oh shit. So if uh, if it's going to get overturned, it would it would do so in 2022. So we would go for another year and a half without being able to sell flavors within the state. But I do have some kind of workarounds. So don't worry. Just look out for that and I'll be able to take care of you guys. If the Secretary of State's office determines there is a sufficient number of signatures to qualify the referendum, the new law, which was scheduled to take effect January 1st, would be suspended until the voters act on the ballot measure in November 2022. I should have just kept on reading. Uh, that basically explains it. It would, uh, it would just void it out until then. The signatures were submitted to the state by the California Coalition for Fairness, which said in a statement Tuesday that its signature drive showed that voters are put off by the new law. It's, uh, it's awful, you know. Nicotine is addictive. The flavors can be too. But um, uh, I've heard many young people, and this is the reason why it's getting banned, it's to keep young people from using it. Many young people... They use these products to get nicked out. If you haven't heard it, that's what they say. Words from them directly. I've heard it many times. So I don't think uh, the flavors are really the, uh, the problem. Uh, it's education, and I've said it a dozen times in other videos. In the midst of an unprecedented pandemic, raging wildfires, heat waves, and power outages across the state, more than one million Californians signed petitions for the right to have their voice heard on an unfair law that benefits the wealthy and special interests while costing jobs and cutting funding for education and health care. I, I don't see the correlation there. Uh, cutting funding for education and health care. Um, maybe that was in, in the bill somewhere. Usually these bills are so long, no one wants to read them. The coalition has received more than $21 million so far, largely from companies including Philip Morris and its affiliated uh, U.S. smokeless tobacco company, uh, as well as R.J. Reynolds. Uh, Philip Morris's partner would be Altria, which is also a big partner in the Juul product that uh, we all have learned to love and hate over time. Opponents needed to collect the signatures of 600,000 registered voters to qualify, uh, uh, I guess that's uh, to qualify the referendum. It says quality, I don't know why. Probably to qualify the referendum. The referendum was uh, criticized Tuesday. Uh, advocacy director from uh, Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, a leading supporter of the new law. We know big tobacco has hidden behind smoke and lies for years to hook generations of young people on deadly tobacco products. And this referendum is just one more tactic to continue the status quo. If this referendum qualifies for the ballot, we're confident that California voters will reject Big Tobacco's desperate attempt to keep hooking our kids for a profit. But the delay will, will be costly and deadly.
Um, I don't know about deadly. No one's dying from nicotine, so that's kind of uh, um, strong words right there. Um, I'll link the uh, I'll link this down below for you guys to check out. Uh, that's um, that's honestly the best thing for you guys to do is to go read it yourselves. Uh, I will probably uh, reference this with some other sites and uh, see if anyone else was talking about it and if there was anything different uh, that was mentioned. But uh, for now, I can tell you that this is um, this is uh, helpful. If we can get a year, a year and a half break, uh, it'll be helpful.